Hello everyone, I am Manshita. Currently, I am pursuing B.Tech from Babu Banasi Das Institute of Technology and Management, specialized in information technology. Today, my topic of seminar is virtual private network. And during the presentation, we mainly focus on these topics, like what is virtual private network, type of virtual private network, how it works, what are the protocol used, what are the security and firewalls. What are the VPN devices used? What are the advantages and disadvantages of using virtual private network? What are the features of virtual private network? And what are the scope of virtual private network? Firstly, we discuss what is virtual private network. A virtual private network is a type of private network that uses public telecommunications such as internet instead of leased line to communicate. There are three types of virtual private network. First is remote access virtual private network. Second is side to side virtual private network. Mm, the side to side virtual private networks are of two types. First is internet based and second is extranet based. A remote access virtual private network is for home or traveling user who need to access their central LAN from a remote location. They dial their ISP and connect over internet to the LAN. Side to side virtual private network are of two types. First is internet based, second is extranet based. Side to, uh, the internet based side to side virtual private network is used when a company has one or more remote location that they wish to join in a single private network. They can create internet virtual private network to connect LAN to LAN. And the extranet based side to side virtual private network is used when a company has a close relationship with another company. They can build an extranet virtual private network that connect land to land and that allow all of the various companies to work in a shared environment. All the three types of VPNs are stored in this image. Let us discuss how VPN works. Virtual private network use two things to connect external hosts securely. First is authorization and second is encryption. The virtual private network checks the authenticity of user and prevents the network from unauthorized users. And it encrypts your data to provide more security and it provides a secure tunnel to transfer data from one device to another device over the network. And there are some protocol used in virtual private network like point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, layer-to-point tunneling protocol, internet protocol security, SSL and encryption etc. A well-designed VPN uses a several methods for keeping your connection and data secure like firewall, encryption, IP security, AAA servers. There are three things important in virtual private network that is hardware, software and firewalls. There are some features of using virtual private network is uh, first is security, scalability, services and management. Security means tunneling support between sites with at least 128-bit encryption of the data. Scalability means extra users and bandwidth can be added easily to adopt to new requirements. Services means quality of services features including bandwidth, management and traffic saving are important to avoid cognition. Management means report on user activity, management of user policy, monitoring of VPN as whole. There are some advantages of using the virtual private network, like multiple telephone lines and bank of modem at the central site are not required. Uh, it results in reduction of overall telecommunication infrastructure and it also reduces the cost of management, maintenance of equipment and technical support. And it also simplifies the network topology by eliminating modem pools and private network infrastructure. There's some also disadvantages of virtual private network. If the ISP or internet connection is down, then VPN is also down. The central side must have permanent internet connection so that the remote client and other sites can connect at any time. VPN can provide each user with less bandwidth than a dedicated line solution. Future of VPN is very bright because companies are now adopting the virtual private network as the best alternative because this uh, virtual private network is uh, the most uh, cost effective and it provides the most secure and new way of communication.
as shown in a graph currently 47.5 percent com companies already adopt the technology of virtual private network and 23.3 percent companies are planned to adopt this technology so the future of virtual private network is very bright as we have gone through all possible detail we conclude that the virtual private network is best option for the corporate networking as many companies will need to access to the internet and hence the security is also the main concern the virtual private network provides the best possible combination of security and private network capability with adequate cost saving to the company who are presently working and with lease lines thank you thank you so much